about the eight religions that run the world. With so many people talking about religion, you would think that Americans had a better grasp on the subject. Stephen Prothero says we are a nation of religious illiterates. He's a chairman of religious studies at Boston University and the author of the new book here called God is Not One. Stephen Prothero. What is it that we need to know and yet don't? Part of what I think I'm doing as a professor is to um, you know, foster informed conversation. And I think that when I was in college, that's what I loved to do. I loved to talk to my friends about politics. I loved to talk to them about philosophy, about religion. And that's what I try to do with my students, but it's also what I try to do when I'm you know, out there in the public. Tonight at 7 p.m., Borders is pleased to welcome Professor of Religion at Boston University, Stephen Prothero. It's a pretty common perception that religions are basically different paths up the same mountain, that essentially they're the same. And the argument I make in the book is that that's not true. You write, um, this naive theological group think, call it God think, has made the world more dangerous. Uh, how so, would you say? We're imagining that, that religion doesn't matter. But religion does matter. It motivates people all over the world to do all sorts of things, economically, politically, and militarily. How do you understand those conflicts if you're saying, oh, well, in the Middle East, Jews, Christians, and Muslims are all essentially the same, that the differences are inconsequential. In religious studies especially, and given the religious illiteracy of so many Americans, and the, the power of, of religion, it's imperative for us to speak out. Part of what I've been trying to do is to experiment with different kinds of venues. And so um, I started this Twitter project of, you know, Religion 140, of the great religions in 140 characters or less. And I also try to talk about religion lately on CNN's belief blog. So there's a way that, you know, experimenting with different media also gets the message out to very different types of viewers or types of people. And my guest, Stephen Prothero, has written a book about the eight religions that run the world. And at least seven of them, he's going to hell. Well, oddly enough, I still get nervous before I, do, before I teach, before I do uh, TV. So I'm always getting nervous. I was very nervous before the Colbert thing. I, first of all, I hadn't done it before. Second of all, he's a really hard interview because, you know, he's playing a character and it's hard to get a word in edgewise with him. So why did you write the book? The world is furiously religious. We have all these religions that are very influential. You can't understand what's going on in China without thinking about Confucianism. You can't understand what's going on in the Middle East without understanding Judaism, Christianity, Islam. Who's winning? And it doesn't help. Who's to, winning? It doesn't help to pretend they're all the same. Who's winning? We're in this strange media moment where it's a comedy channel that is the place to talk about serious ideas. And I actually was pleased with that because I was able to say some, some substantive things about my project. A lot of our conversation about religion gets kind of hijacked by people either on the right or on the left or by the atheists or by the evangelicals or whomever it might be. And it becomes difficult to have a conversation that isn't just kind of a repetition of ideological talking points. And I think that's what I'm trying to do in my work is to enable us to talk about these things in a way that's uh, informed and civil. And uh, I think that's my goal.